Baruchim Haboim. Welcome everyone. We're about to begin Be'ezras Hashem together in Daf Mem Alif Amr Alif, the very first line of the Amud. The Gemara had previously brought a Maisa that Rabbi Zeira saw Rabbi Abo swimming in a bathtub in a pool of water, a cold pool of water on Shabbos, and he did not know whether he picked up his leg or not. The Gemara brought over there that indeed if he does have a rim around the bathtub or the pool, then it's not going to be a concern. And now the Gemara brings an unrelated incident where Rabbi Zeira saw Rabbi Abo in a different manner. Rabbi Rabbi Zeira I saw Rabbi Zero. Rabbi Zero says, I saw Rabbi Abohu placing his hands opposite his genitals. I don't know if whether he touched those genitals or not. Gemara says, Pshita de Noga. Of course he did not. That's straightforward, Ditanya, for it says in the Braiso. Rabbi Eliezer Oimer, Kol HaOichez Ba'amo, Umashtin, Ki ilu mevi mabu lo'olam. If a person holds his genitals, even while going to the bathroom, it says over there that that will bring, that brings the mabul. In other words, the chet of the Dor HaMabul was that they caused unnecessary seminal emission. And therefore, by touching that area, which is a sensitive area, could then heat up that area and cause seminal, seminal emission. So certainly, Rabbi Zer did not see Rabbi Abo touching himself. Says the Gemara, Omar Abai Asu can be boleshes. He made like boleshes, meaning like, like they were soldiers. He was in a state of fright, and therefore it wasn't a concern Says the Gemara to explain this nan, for we have a Mishnah that says Boleshes Shenichnesa Leir, when there were soldiers that came into the city, Bisha Shaloim Chaviyos Pesuchos Asuros Stumos Mutaros. At a time of peace, if you see the jugs of the barrels of wine and that are opened, then you can say that they're Osir because of Ayay Nesech. Maybe the I, the Oiv the, the, Zara of the soldiers, they used the wine for Yayin Nesech, for, 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 for wine libations. And therefore, if it was open, the barrels were open, then they're Osir because of Yayin Nesech. However, if they're sealed, they're closed, then you can assume that they are Mutter. Bishas Milchoma, however, during the time of war, Eilu Ve'elu Mutarois, even the ones that are open, are considered to be mutter, and we're not choishesh for yayin nesech, lefisha ein panai lenasech, because a person who is in the middle of a war does not have time to then be menasech yayin for avoid zoro. Alma, we see from here, kivan did bo isei lo because of the, the fright that the soldiers are in in the midst of a war, they won't then have time to do menasech the yayin, because they're afraid, they're in a state of fear. So too over here, even if he were to then be in a situation of having touched the genitals, it wouldn't be a con- concern that it would be me'or him because here we're talking about he was afraid. Ask the Gemara, what was the fright that he would be in a state of fright? He's by the Nahar, he would be in a state of fright over there and therefore it would not be considered to be a concern that he would, this would lead to a seminal emission. Says the Gemara, Aini asked the Gemara, is this true? Ve'ha Omar Rabbi Abba, Omar Rav Huna, Omar Rav, Kol HaMiniach Yodav Keneged Ponav Shel Mato, Ki Ilu Koifer Bevriso Shel Avrom Avinu. Even if he didn't touch himself there, but just to have his hands in that place, would show that he is Koifer Bevriso Shel Avrom Avinu. He's ashamed of his bris milo. The Gemara says, Lo kashio, ha ki nachis, ha ki solik. When a person is going down to the river, where nobody will see his, his genitals in front of him, so then he should not cover himself. However, when he goes up, then he covers himself. Ki ha da rave shoche rabizeiro zokif. It says, Rava was accustomed to bending down, 
so that a person would not be able to see him, see his genitals. Rabbi Zeir Rabbi Zeir was proud of his bris mila, and therefore he stood erect. Rabbonon the Bay Rav Ashi, the Chachamim in the Beis Hamedish of Rav Ashi, ki konachte zakfe, when they would go down to the river, zakfe, they would walk in a erect position, standing, standing upwards, However, when they would go out of the river, then they would bend themselves out of modesty. Says the Gemara, Rabbi Zeira hava komishtamit midrav Yehuda. Once we're speaking of Rabbi Zeira in his observations, so now we bring that he tried to avoid Rabbi Yehuda. Why? Says the Gemara, the boy le meisach la'ari the Israel, because Rabbi Zeira wanted to make Aliyah. He wanted to go up to Eretz Yisrael. And he knew that Rabbi Yehuda was against it. The Om Rabbi Yehuda kala oile mi bovel le Eretz Yisrael. Anybody who leaves bovel to go to Eretz Yisrael, oiver be'ese. He's transgressing a mitzvah ase, and he brings a pasuk shneimar. Bavela yuvau. It says that they shall be brought to bovel v'shama yihiyu, and there they shall remain. So Rabbi Yehuda learned that pasuk to be that the people of Kla Yisrael, once they're brought to Bavel, they should not leave to go to Eretz Yisrael, they should remain in Bavel. Whereas Rabbi Zeira understood the Pasuk does not mean that. The Pasuk is coming to say that the vessels that were in the Beis HaMikdosh, that were brought to Bavel in the exile, they will remain. al Kopanim, we see that Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda was the Rabbi of Rabbi Zeir, and Rabbi Zeir tried to avoid Rav Yehuda, there's a similar incident that's told in Meseches Brochos and Avchovdal Amid Beis that Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Abo, I think it was, was trying to avoid Rabbi, Rabbi Yehuda for the same reason. He wanted to go to live in Eretz Yisrael and leave Bavel, but he was afraid to meet his Rabbi, Rabbi Yehuda, who would tell him not to go. And there, the Gemara tells something similar to this, that he then went to hear Rav Yehuda give a shir, and he heard that Rav Yehuda told a certain halacha, and he was very satisfied with that halacha. In fact, he said it was a kedai just to hear that halacha alone. There the halacha was in regards to a person who's davening Shemona Esrei, and he has to pass gas, he should wait until the smell dissipates, and then continue. Another version over there says that if indeed he can anticipate that he will then pass gas, then he shall say yes, he should walk Dalar Amos in the middle of Shmona Esrei. He should say then afterwards a certain tefillah, asking Mechila from Hashem, and then go back to continue diving the Shmona Esrei. Al Kaponim, the Gemara goes on to say that Rabbi Zeir over here, who tried to avoid Rav Yehuda, went to then the Beis Hamedra of Yehuda to hear a shir. Omar, he said to himself, Ezo Eshma Minei Milso Ve'esi Ve'esak. He said, let me go hear a matter, a Torah discourse from Yav Yehuda, and then I will go make Ali, and then I will go to Bovil, they'll go to Eretz Yisrael. Ozil Bebani. He went and he found that he was standing by the bathhouse. And he said to his Shamish, Heviuli Nosar, Heviuli Masrik, bring me st- soap. And bring me a comb. Open up your mouths and let the heavy, the heat come out. And the third thing he says, and drink the water of the bathhouse. Omar says, Rabbi Zeira, if it was only to hear this. Matter, it was enough. The Gemara now goes to explain what goes on to explain what was it that he heard. Bishlama heviu neser veheviu masrek. Bishlama, according to the first thing that he heard, that Rav Yehuda said, "Bring me a soap and bring me a comb." That he understood what the chiddush was he's coming to teach. Kamashvalan devarim shall chol muter lo oimram belashin kodesh. That things that are of Chol can be said in Lashon HaKodesh. In other words, here he began saying Lashon HaKodesh and then he, tran- he in the middle, the next two things are said in Lashon, Lashon Aramaic. 
Lashon Chol. So he's coming to say that even something that is Chol can say be Lashon HaKodesh in a bathhouse. That's the first thing that he learned. Paschul Pumaychul Va'apiku Hevlo Nami. The fact, the second thing that he said, open up your mouths and let the heat come out. That also he understood. Kid is understood. Kiddush Shmuel. Like that which Shmuel said, the Omar Shmuel Havlo, Mapik Havlo. The heat will then bring out, will take out other heat. In other words, the heat of the hot bath will then take out the heat when a person opens up his mouth to let the heat go out from his body. So whatever body heat he had, that will also then be able to then be ventilated. Ela ishtumayo the beiboni my ma'aliuso. But that which he said, drink the water of the bathhouse, what is the ma'ila in that? Explains the Gemara de Tanya. For it says in the Brisa, ochol veloishasa. If a person ate and he didn't drink, then achiloso dom, his achila, his eating will be dam. It will be negative, it will be very detrimental for his health. Bezel tichilas choyli me'ayim. This is the beginning of intestinal problems. Ocho v'loy halach dalet amos. A person ate and he didn't walk dalet amos. Achilosoi markeves. His food will become markeves. It will become bad. It will become rotten. V'zel tichilas reach ra. And this is the beginning of bad breath. Hanitzrach l'nekovov v'ochal. A person who needed to go to the bathroom and did not do so, and he ate. It's similar to a, an oven that was heated up through ashes, and it's the beginning of bad bodily odor. This now goes back to our Indian. If he bathes in hot water and he doesn't drink from them, Lav Davka, he has to drink from the hot water of the bath, but he doesn't drink hot water right after bathing a hot bath, then it's similar to an oven that was heated from the outside and was not heated up from the inside, whereby it's not going to be effective. He adds in the Brisa that the Brisa adds that if a person took a hot shower and did not then cool himself off by, by um, being nishtate b'tsoyneim, then doy melabarzo sheichnisu la oor v'lo yichnisu l'tsoyneim. Then he's similar to, to, to a, a piece of iron that entered the fire and, there, and, and then did not be put into cold water. When a iron, piece of iron gets heated up to a very high level of heat, then afterwards, by putting into cold water, it then strengthens the iron. So too, the body that was heated up with a hot shower, if he did not, he didn't then cool himself off by, by uh, throwing, by sprinkling, by pouring water over his body, by cooler water over his body afterwards, and it's not going to be effective. Rochat v'loisach. If a person, another thing the Brisa adds, a person, he, ba- he, he bathed, but he didn't then put oils on his body. Doimed l'mayim al gabe chovis. It's like he put water on top of a barrel, which is also not going to be effective on the outside of a barrel. Al koponim, you see from this Brisa that indeed, this third Eitzah that Rabbi Yehuda gave of the person drinking from the hot water, either from the bath itself, if he doesn't have hot water aside from the bath, or the hot water of a hot cup of water after bathing hot, in a hot bath, that's going to be effective for his health after taking that hot bath. Says the Mishnah, new Mishnah, in regards to Hatmana, it says Mulyar. Hagaruf shoisin heimenu b'shabbos. Mulyar is a form of a uh, a heat source where the water was in one vessel and surrounded by that vessel of water was coals. So it says in the Mishnah, if those coals were taken out, 
is no longer going to be insulated by a Davish and Moisif Hevel. So therefore, if it was put before Shabbos, then a person can drink that water on Shabbos. Because all of the Mulyar is doing is just retaining, is just uh, retaining the heat of the water, but it's slowly dissipating. Whereas Antichi, Afalpishe Grufo, ain't Shoisi Himeno. But Antichi, which is a different type of vessel, the guy is going to explain the machlok is what this exactly is. But even if you took out the coals, it's still considered to be a davish moisiv hevel, and therefore this type of insulation is going to be also even done before Shabbos, whereby you cannot drink the water that was heated up by the antichi. Explains the Gemara by asking hechi dami mulyar hagaruf. What is considered to mulyar? Says the Gemara Tano, Mayim mi bifnim, vegecholim mi bachutz. A mulyar is water inside a kli, and then on the outside, surrounded by that kli, is another vessel that has in it coals. So the Mishnah says if you remove those coals before Shabbos, thereby it's not insulated by a Davish and Moisif Hevel, and you can go ahead and drink that water on Shabbos. Antichi, however, what is an Antichi? asked the Gemara. Next, uh, the following, Rabba Omar Bekiri. Rabba says it's a compartment of an oven. In other words, it a compartment of an oven. It you place the water on the top, let's say, and underneath there's a heat source. Now the reason why this is not like a regular oven, which you, which if you removed it, there's no insulation whatsoever, and it's even a, in, it's all going to be taking away that that heat source here. Is explained that it's heated up all week long, and therefore the the walls of the of this oven remain hot, remain very hot, whereby they're continually to heat. They continue to heat up the water, so therefore it's considered to be a davar shemoisiv hevel even after taking out the coals, whereby on Shabbos you cannot drink from that water. Rav Nachman bar Yitzchak Omar beidudi. He understands it's a two-leveled pot. That there's a bottom level and a top level. Underneath is an enclosed area where there's going to be coals. On top of that is where the pot of, of, of hot water is situated. So even after removing these coals, according to Rav Nachman by Yitzchok, that also there's the heat source, although the, the coals are no longer there, but the heat still is captured inside of that two-level pot, whereby it continues to heat up the water. And therefore, that would also then be also to then use on Shabbos, even though this was done before Shabbos. So the Gemara then comments, Man the Omar Beidude Kosher Kain Beikiri. The one who says Beidude, this two level pot. So then Kosher Kain Beikiri, because Beikiri is even a higher degree of, 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 of heat. And therefore, it's a greater level of Hatmana. Certainly, you cannot use that water on Shabbos. However, the other way, Yamanda Omar Beikire, Aval Beidude, Loi. But since the one who says Beikire, that he says is what we're talking about in the Mishnah of Antuchi, but Beidude not, that would have a din of Mulyar. And therefore, that would be mutter to use the water on Shabbos. Tanya Kavose de Rav Nachman, the Gemara says we have a, a brysa like Rav Nachman bar Yitzchak, who said it's like Beidude, Antiche Afal Pishe Grufa Viketuma, Antiche, even though you took out the, go, the coals, or you put ashes on the coals, Ein Shoisin Heimeno, Mipneshe Nechushto Mechamamosa. You cannot drink from it because the Nechoshes, the copper that was heated up all week long, that still has such a great source of heat that continues to heat up the water and therefore it's a problem to then use that water on Shabbos. 